everyone! Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build. So it has been a very long time since I've posted a speed build on my channel. Um, I actually just looked right before I started recording this and it's been like almost a month. So, um, But I'm back with a speed build finally and it's actually a speed build of a house which I haven't done in a while. Um, so I had been doing a series called Build New Crest Community Lots Edition where I have created um, different types of community lots, like every type of community lot basically that we have in the game, and I filled up a new crust, which is the empty world, with all of those lots. Um, and then, yeah, so I did a house back when I had hit 100 subscribers on my channel, and other than that, I haven't really posted many house building, building videos in a very long time. Um, so this is actually the start of another series, um, so this is similar to my Fill the World Create a Sim series. This is just called Fill the World. Um, so basically what I'm doing in this series is I am building houses that suit uh, the neighborhood on all of the empty lots in like a brand new save file basically. So, um, so there's a couple of empty lots in Willow Creek which is where we are right now and there's a couple of empty lots um, in Oasis Springs, and there's not that many in Windenburg, actually. I think there's only two. I'd have to go back and look for sure. Um, but yeah, so basically I'm just trying to make it so that, uh, nothing will be empty. <laughs> At least none of the lots. So, in theory, once I'm done with this project, you could take all of my houses that I've built for this project, plus all of the houses that I've built in my Build New Crest Community Lots Edition project, and have a completely filled up world that you don't have to do anything for. <laughs> you just plop the lots in and they're ready to go. Um, and then if you wanted to, you could also add in the pre-made families that I've created in my um, Fill the World Create a Sim series. So that's kind of the goal that I'm going for here. It's almost like a save file, except I want it to be a little bit more customizable for all of you guys. So. You know, that way then, if you don't want to have every single house or every single family, you don't have to. But, um, so this house is called Cozy Family Home. It's actually built on the lot called Bargain Bend in, um, the cheapest neighborhood in Willow Creek. Which is kind of funny, because this is actually not a very cheap house. <laughs> I originally had actually built an entirely different house for this lot that was a little bit more bargain friendly um but i don't like it <laughs> so i decided to completely redo it and start fresh with this house um so and actually the reason why i don't really like that other house is because uh i had uploaded it to the gallery the day after that gallery patch that we had back in i think the end of july had come out um where they changed the default filtering from newest to currently most popular so basically if you don't have a large following on the gallery it's very difficult to get your builds downloaded and previously I had always had you know like anywhere from 20 to 50 downloads on most of my builds um, and I had uploaded this house I worked really hard on it I was really proud of it I had uploaded it and I went back to check on it a few hours later and it had no downloads. Zero. And I was so devastated. I was so embarrassed because I thought that the house was just like not a good house. And I actually took it down from the gallery, which I I have taken down a few things from the gallery, not very often. Like some back when like before The Sims 4 had even come out, I had made some like random families back in the Create a Sim demo. Um, so some of them I took down because I had no idea what I was doing and it was just to like play around and have fun with it. Um, but in general, I don't have, I don't think I've ever taken down an actual like bill <laughs> from the gallery before until that day. Um, so, and then of course later on I found out that it wasn't because the build was terrible. It was because nobody was seeing it because they changed the default selections in the gallery. But even still for a while, I wasn't building, which is why there hasn't been any speed builds on this channel in so long. Um, because, you know, like, 
I build for you guys, and if you guys don't see it and don't get to download it, then what's the point? So, and I actually, I sort of have figured out when most people are playing The Sims 4, so I specifically try to upload during those times so that my stuff gets the most eyeballs on it. Um, you know, just doing some smart marketing, I guess you could say. <laughs> and I had even done that with that other build, and it still had no downloads. I was like, uh-oh, this is a problem. <laughs> so <clears throat> this build, you know, if it doesn't get a ton of downloads on it, I know why now. It still hurts, but I, at least I have a better understanding of why, and, you know, we can just move forward. And I, I really miss building, like, so, so much. I mean, like, gameplay is fun and all, but I've, I've just, I've missed it. So, you know, I don't know how frequently I will be building at this point, um, because originally I wasn't going to uh, post any more builds, either on my channel or on my gallery, um, until they fixed the blurry screenshots issue, and they also fixed the default options on the gallery. So. The screenshots issue, that's been fixed now finally, thank goodness. Um, and they've said that as far as the gallery, like the default search ways goes or whatever, uh, SimGuru Grant, I believe on Twitter a few days ago said something basically that they're going to be fixing it. It's going to go back to how it was before with newest being the default option, um, but it might be a while. In fact, he said it will be a while. So. <laughs> I was like, all right, well, there's no real, like, definitive timeline there, but at least they've addressed it and they are going to change it back. So I'm happy enough with that. And I, you know, I feel better at least about going back to building right now. So plus, like I said, I really missed it. So there's that too. Um, so anyways, <laughs> about this build, <laughs> now that I'm like seven and a half minutes into this video. Um, so this is a cozy family home. It's a two-story house. It has three bedrooms and two bathrooms. Um, <clears throat> I think it's around 70,000 simoleons, so it's not super budget friendly, uh, which is I think what I was getting into a little bit before. So it is a little bit expensive for this specific neighborhood, but I thought that it could sort of be seen as like, this is the new house of the neighborhood type of thing. Like for example, um, my parents live in an older neighborhood where most of the houses were built in like the 60s. And there's been like one vacant lot on their street for years. And like, I don't know how this lot has remained vacant because it's like, it's a very like prime real estate type of area. But like for whatever reason, this lot has just been empty. And all of a sudden this summer, now somebody has bought the lot and is building like a brand new house there. And it's still, it's a more traditional, older looking house. But you can also tell it's like new, you know, <laughs> like it's, a, we don't build houses the same way that we did like 50 years ago. So like just sort of by default, it looks a little, a little bit different than everything else around it. So that's kind of what I was going for here. Like this is maybe like uh, a newer build in this neighborhood. So like, it's very traditional, but it's not quite the same style as everything else, but it still somehow kind of goes along with it. Um, <clears throat> also, side note here. So I don't like the couches in The Sims 4, I've decided. <laughs> I feel like so many of the couches just don't look comfortable to sit on. And so many of them have like plastic or wooden like side panels, like on the armrests and stuff. And like, most couches in the real world don't have that. Um, and I, like, we don't really have that many couches that I think are actually like soft looking or more realistic looking. And so this is my plea. Please, EA, give us better couches. <laughs> Cause I feel like there's that one couch. So the couch that came with um, cats and dogs, I feel like it's probably more realistic, but in general, the colors on it are very, very pastel. And like, there are some kind of strange patterns on it. Some of it's okay, but you know, it's not necessarily the most versatile looking couch. And I'm not saying it has to be like super grandma looking, but like some of these couches, I'm just like, I would not want to sit on this couch and watch a movie. Like, I don't know. Like, I feel like we had like some more like, overstuffed styles of couches in previous games 
and we just don't really have that in The Sims 4, and it, it's kind of a bummer. Um, but anyways, also, you may have noticed I shrunk down the size of the TV, which is something I don't normally do, but I thought for the size of the space that we have here in this room, um, that the TV that was there was just way too big, so I shrunk it down a little bit. Um, so yeah, so the first floor has obviously the kitchen slash eating area, and then also like a little living room area. And then on the other side of the stairs is the master bedroom. Um, and then upstairs, there's a girl room, a boy room, and then they have a shared Jack and Jill bathroom as well. So I will say this, the one downside to this house is that like, if you have company over and they need to go to the bathroom, they're gonna have to go through one of the bedrooms. But you know, not all houses are perfect. And I, I couldn't find another spot to put a bathroom in on the first floor that was like a you know more of like a hall guest bath type of thing um but you know that's okay i think the large backyard kind of makes up for a lot of the like maybe less appealing things not less appealing but like you know like think about even though this is a brand new house it is still more of like a starter home type of house and like no house is perfect so like obviously I would have preferred that there be a half bath for example but there just wasn't a spot for one but there are other nice things about the house that sort of make up for that so like you know like there's a really big backyard area and you know like <clears throat> the overall I feel like the flow of this house is really good like the, the not to toot my own horn but like the floor plan makes a lot of sense and um yeah. Also, so you may have just seen me place a ceiling fan because in the most recent update for The Sims 4, we got ceiling fans finally. Hooray! So exciting. I personally, I love ceiling fans. I know that there was like a thing a few years ago, like HGTV shows would oftentimes like show people and they'd be like, ew, I don't like houses with ceiling fans. No, ceiling fans are amazing because they keep the, the airflow moving in your house without having to turn on your air conditioner. And like, that's expensive. <laughs> like running your air conditioner all the time, that adds up. Ceiling fan takes a lot less energy to do. And in all honesty, like even with the air conditioning running, like I can tell you right now, there are some rooms in our house that just run hot and some rooms that are always a little cold. So the rooms that are always a little bit on the hot side, we tend to have the fan on more because otherwise, it just gets too unbearable and uncomfortable to be in there. So ceiling fans, man, they're really awesome. So and also I um, layered it with the, I think it was like the single light bulb that came out in the laundry day stuff pack. So these ceiling fans that came out in the patch don't actually have like an attached light fixture to them, but I sort of, you know, turned it into one. So, you know, maybe someday we'll get one that actually has like a built-in light fixture, but for the time being, it does seem to work pretty well with like layering in like I think there have been some posts on Twitter and stuff like where people have like layered in different various lights and like some of them you have to like scale down a little bit but um, the light bulb from laundry day you don't have to scale down at all so yay um, so yeah I put a fan in the living room on the first floor and then each of the two bedrooms upstairs because I figured that the two bedrooms upstairs they're a little on the smaller side and because they're upstairs like in the real world upstairs bedrooms or upstairs rooms in general tend to have not as nice of airflow in them um, just because they're up a little higher and heat rises so those bedrooms tend to get a little bit warmer um, so that's why I put them up there so uh, so yeah so for the master obviously I went with kind of like a light brown and blue color scheme which isn't a color scheme I use very often but I kind of built it around the bed um, and because I've I feel like I've said this before, I don't know, maybe on Twitter or something, but I really love the beds that came out with Seasons. Like, they they look so comfortable. As uncomfortable as the couches look in this game, the beds from Seasons look so comfortable. So, big, big fan. Um, so yeah, so this is the girl bedroom upstairs. Um, I, I did post this on Twitter, I know that, but it was like... I am addicted to making very cluttered children's bedrooms, and that's exactly what I did in this build. <laughs> um, I don't know, I just, I was thinking about it, and I'm always kind of drawn toward like a little bit more clutter and decorations in kids' bedrooms, and like, 
you know, the master bedroom or like bedrooms for maybe a little bit older Sims, I tend to keep a little bit more low key, but like with a kid's bedroom, you can kind of just go all out. And I think it's because a lot of times in the real world, if you have a kid and you are like, okay, you could decorate your bedroom however you want, you know, within reason, obviously, the kid's instinct is to put like everything that they love or are interested in or is important to them and like everything has to be out and on display. So like it doesn't always make a lot of sense but it really like speaks to like them and their personality. So you know that's why there's always like lots of like random things on the walls or a lot of times like a kid bedroom doesn't I mean you know kid bedroom is usually the bedroom that they were sleeping in when they were like a baby or a toddler so a lot of the decorations might be still kind of like holdovers from that era so like that's why a lot of times I'll put in like you know a couple little like nursery style pictures like the picture with the elephant and the ladybug or whatever um because those to me seem a little bit more babyish than kid-like and these are obviously more kid-friendly types of bedrooms um and or like I'll put in the thing with like the little fake baby shoe thing or you know to show that like the kid is growing up but maybe there are some decorative holdovers from when they were a little bit younger um oh yeah and I also did suddenly remember to put in that lovely lamp to get rid of the monsters under the bed because as much as I don't like having to put that lamp in, I really hate it when I'm playing and then I all of a sudden have a monster under the bed and then all of a sudden I'm like, oh man, forgot the lamp. <laughs> but then it's a little too late because the kid's awake and then they're waking up their parent because they're scared and then they won't go back to sleep and basically the whole night's ruined and no, I just, no. So I do try to like make sure I put that in kids' bedrooms in particular because Without it, it's just, mm, it's just not good. Not good at all. Um, so, yeah, so I tried to do, because I figured, like, kids, the kids that are living in this house are probably pretty close in age. So, like, I did more skill building types of things in the girl room and then, like, general toys in the boy room. Not for any particular reason. I just sort of thought, like, meh, all right, well, we'll kind of keep things organized at least a little bit. Um... And then upstairs we have this very tiny hallway area, but I figured it would be a nice spot maybe to stick a little bookshelf and a chair and maybe just make it into a quiet spot to read. And then I couldn't figure out what to do with the same little nook on the other side. Um, in general, I'm kind of opposed to the idea of just like closing off a wall. Like, you know, I think a lot of times you'll see like instead of putting something in that little one tile area, Sometimes you'll see where people will just like close it off and be like, nope, doesn't exist. But I personally don't like wasted space. So I would rather, even if it's just filled up with decorations, I would still rather find something to put there than close it up because that's, I don't know, that's just me. But, um, so I put in some nice little plants and decorations in there, kind of fill it out a little bit, makes it look a little bit nicer. Um, and yeah, and then I also, I put in... Um, the wreath from, I think that came out in Laundry Day? Ooh, because we've actually gotten a couple of different wreaths now. And I don't remember which one it is, if it's from Laundry Day or if it's from Seasons. But I put in a wreath, that's all. <laughs> um, and, you know, just kind of some general, just sort of random, I guess, decorations up top. Just to kind of fill out this area, make it seem, because it's a hallway. So, like, it's not really serving any great purpose besides, like letting these kids walk to their bedrooms but I also didn't want it to seem super empty either um, so outside now I'm just doing a little bit of landscaping I do have the bathrooms but obviously I didn't put them in this video because uh, both of the bathrooms I did almost identical the only difference is that upstairs for the kid bathroom I put in a shower tub combo instead of just a single shower stall uh, that way then, if you are playing in this house and you have either like a dog that needs a bath or a toddler that needs a bath, there is actually a tub available for you to use. Because that's another pet peeve of mine <laughs> is when I'm playing and all of a sudden I have to give some small creature, human or otherwise, a bath and there's no tub available. It's like, ah, now what do I do? Um, so, but yeah, there's uh, in the screenshots at the end of the video, there are pictures of the master bath, but there's none of the Jack and Jill 
uh, shared bathroom upstairs, but you know, it's a bathroom. It's not that exciting, you know. So, um, so yeah, just doing some landscaping. I try to really make it seem like, you know, like this house was very well maintained and, uh, you know, they, they, they've done, they've done some landscaping work to kind of make the front of their house look, you know, very, very homey and also very presentable. Um, and then obviously out back, I do put in more landscaping as well. Um, oh, off, off camera, I did put in, cause I kind of forgot about this. I did put in a trash can in the kitchen. Um, and then there's obviously I put in a outside trash can in the back as well, which you'll see in a minute. Um, I don't think there weren't too many other things that I like forgot about necessarily. Um, but that's, that's the one that I can remember off the top of my head that I went back and had to add in because, you know, I am a little rusty. I'm not super rusty when it comes to doing this type of build, but you know, especially since I hadn't even, I hadn't even done like a house build for a while. Like I was much more used to doing like community lots. So now to do a house, it's like, woo, okay, what do I put in this again? Um, so yeah, so here's the outdoor patio area, just kind of a nice spot to hang out on nicer weather days and, you know, relax with the family. And of course I put in a bird feeder because I usually put in either a bird feeder or a wind chime or both. Um, I did actually, I meant to put in a wind chime on the back of this house and it completely slipped my mind. Um, but you know, that's okay. I still got the bird feeder in, so I'm pretty, pretty content with that. Also, I did not know this, but if you look at a lot on the gallery that someone else has uploaded and you know how it says like what packs the items came from, if you click on the pack and it'll pop up and it'll say like, you know, yeah, I don't know, romantic garden stuff or whatever. There's actually a button on that page that tells you like items used from this pack or something along those lines. Um, so I, uh, I discovered this and I was like, Ooh, this is kind of cool. Like I want to make sure I, I remember this. Cause that way then like, say you want to download a pack or something, or not a pack. If you want to download someone's lot, for example, and you're like, oh, like I really like this, but I don't have this one pack in particular. You can click on that button and see like, oh, well, did they, they use like one small thing from that pack or did they use like 12 things? You know, kind of weigh your options then. Cause you can always download things even if you don't have the specific pack that, you know, it came from, just know that it'll be replaced with another similar object. Um, so yeah, just thought that was like a fun tip that I would share with you all, just in case you weren't aware of this already. And I don't know, maybe you are, and I'm just super slow. I have no idea. So anyways, so this is the cozy family home. Um, like I said before, it's placed on the lot called Bargain Bend in Willow Creek. Um, it is currently available for download on the Sims 4 gallery, so if you like it, I recommend checking it out. Um, you can get to it through either the link in the description box below this video, or you can search for it on the gallery using my origin ID, which is Mrs. Tomato 1018, or through the hashtag Mrs. Tomato 1018. Um, just remember to change your search options from currently most popular to newest so that it will actually show up because otherwise it filters out results and you don't see everything. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, you can do so down below. I put up a new video every single day, Monday through Friday. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.